Welcome back to Zuko Builds. Next week, I'll be building this huge nine foot dining table. And I wanted to incorporate a castle joint with the legs and the skirt. So I'm taking some scrap pieces of wood today and playing around with the joint, kind of getting an understanding of how to make it. So let's hop right into it. First things first, guys, I want to apologize about the audio. I got this new lav mic that was supposed to be pretty great for the price, but as you can tell, sounds very scratchy and I couldn't do anything in post, so my apologies. To make this joint, I grabbed a scrap piece of 4x4 since I'll be using 4x4s for the legs of the dining table. And I grabbed a 2x4 and ripped it down to a 2x2.5 two two and, and I'm just centering it in the 4x4. I went ahead and made a small mark with my pencil and then I'll set my marking gauge to that pencil line and mark all four sides. To cut this out, we're basically going to cut out an X or a cross in the center of the 4x4. That way we can put our two connecting pieces, our two joining pieces in the center of that with a half lap joint. This will make a little bit more sense in a little bit. Next, let's go over to the table saw and set the blade height to the width of whatever material you'll be using for this joint. Now I made this jig specifically for a castle joint and possibly a tenon jig, but it allows me to clamp the longer 4x4 to this fence, this sacrificial fence, and pretty much hog out the material as you would a half lap joint. If you guys want a separate video on how I made this jig and the functions of it, then go ahead and let me know down below in the comments. Now I'll go ahead and make a cut on both of my marks and hog out all of the material in the center. Once you're done with one side, rotate your workpiece 90 degrees and hog out that material. That should give you four identical slots. Don't worry about getting it perfectly smooth. We'll go ahead and clean up the rest with the chisel. There were a couple of high spots in this joint. Um, I think I wasn't pressing down while I was passing it through the blade. So just make sure to press it down while you're pushing it through the blade and that should give you a nice flat surface and go ahead and clean the rest up with a chisel. Now that we have the castle joint all cut out, let's go ahead and start working on the half laps. If you don't know how to make half lap joints, I have a couple videos on how to do it with a table saw and a miter saw, so be sure to check those out. So this came out a bit loose, but I didn't really take my time making my mark, so this can definitely be a lot better. I just wanted to understand the castle joint itself, and this helped me do that. So for the final build, I'll actually fine tune all of this. All right, guys, I'm fairly happy with the build. It came out a little bit loose just because I did rough marks. I didn't really take my time with it, but I pretty much made the joint, which is the point of this. So I'm happy with it. And hopefully I can get that video of the, t of the dining table to you guys next week. But if not, there probably won't be a video. I'll wait for the second week to come and I'll have the, the video of the, the nine foot dining table. So if you guys liked it, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you think I deserve it. If you like the videos, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think, what you guys want to see. And of course, follow me on Instagram at Zuko Builds. See you guys next week. 
or the following week. Once again, guys, sorry for that crappy audio. If you're new to the channel, it's usually not like that. I got this new mic and it's absolute trash, I think. So I'll go ahead and return that and future videos will be a lot better. Sorry, guys.